Hey there, hi everyone, how are you? I'm Rachel and I am the proud founder of Siopa Seize Your Passion. And I do these live streams every week at Friday, um, on Friday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time from our Facebook group, Seize Your Passion. Um, just as a way for me to think out loud with you guys, share with you my thoughts for the week, my lessons for the week, my aha moments, my growth really on my journey to seize my passion and become my best self. So this week, what I have been thinking about and my aha moment and epiphany um, is this. Um, what I realized is I actually was writing um, something for someone and it really got me thinking and it inspired this live stream. So thank you, Ken, you know who you are if you're watching. Um, the, the road to success, right? Whatever success looks like for you, whether personally or professionally in whatever aspect or every aspect of your life, right? Is built first and foremost on a deep and meaningful understanding of yourself. Without that, there's nothing. And to elaborate a little more, um, you know, there are tons of resources and tools and strategies and ideas and beliefs and concepts to help us achieve our goals, realize our dreams and become our best selves in whatever area, again, achieve that success, whatever that success looks like to you, right? But before you could implement any of those tools, strategies, beliefs, concepts, and steps to attaining those goals or realizing those dreams, and that is, by the way, the second building block, I believe, is actually implementing those ideas and concepts and beliefs and strategies and tools and resources. But before you can even do that, before you can implement those, you have to first have a deep and meaningful understanding of yourself and truly know yourself. Here's why. Okay, you are unique, right? Each and every one of us is 100% unique okay and I'm not just saying that in the sense of you're special and you're amazing which you are but I'm really saying that you are unique in a very scientific and factual notion and concept right there is no one else sorry just got a call there is no one else that shares your experiences, your beliefs, your values, your passions, your strengths, your weaknesses, your unique ability, the way you think about things, the way you be in the world, the way you respond to things and people, the way you interact, the way you present yourself. No one else like you, right? It's your internal DNA that is unique to you and it is just as unique as your actual physical DNA. There is no difference. There is not a single human being on this planet that is exactly like you. And what compromises that internal DNA is everything that makes up your experiences and your beliefs and your values and your goals and your dreams and your passions and your strengths and your weaknesses. And so if your goal is to achieve that success, again, whatever that success looks like to you, achieve goals, become better at something, whether personally, professionally, become your best self, right? And we're all looking for that. I don't care who you are. Um, you know, none of us wake up in the morning and say, wow, I really hope my life gets worse today, or I really hope I... I get worse in this area of my life, right? We all want to improve and become better and become our best in whatever area or in all areas, whether we're consciously aware of it or not. There is no human being on the planet that ever lived or that I believe is living that wakes up and says, I really want to get worse at something or I really want my life to get worse, right? We all want purpose and fulfillment. We want that personal growth and to become our best selves and be our best selves in every aspect or in any aspect, right? Whether you're, you know, for me, I am, you know, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm, an, I'm a businesswoman, I'm a mom, I'm a wife, I'm a sister, I'm a friend, I'm a daughter, and I strive and struggle in, in a positive sense 
every day continuously to be my best in all those areas that make me uniquely me, right? But taking the steps and implementing the actions and the beliefs to do that are, it's sort of this surface skeletal shell that won't lead to truly seizing my passion, not just achieving the goals, right? You have goals that are, are just goals for goals sake, and that's fine. That may be part of your dream realization and becoming your best self and your growth. But if you just take the steps to implement those resources and strategies and tools and beliefs to achieve those goals without first fundamentally understanding and truly knowing your unique self, your values, your beliefs, who you are, why you are, why that goal is a goal, right? Is it a goal just because you were brought up sort of to believe that you should be doing A, B, and C or you should achieve A, B, and C? Or is it a goal that really aligns with, you know, your, your, existential why and aligns with that fulfillment and purpose that we're all and that improvement that we're all looking for. So if you just, you know, go about, and again, there are all these amazing resources out there, right? And, and beliefs and notions and thinking about them. And that's, that's part of it. And you have to actually take the action and implement it, but it's a, it's, it's a skeleton without a shell, right? It's, it's, it's the skeleton of just bones without the meat on it, without the flesh on it. The way to put the flesh on it and really live a life full of passion, purpose, and fulfillment and truly seize your passion, right? Which is about living a life full of passion, purpose, and fulfillment. Not just goals for goals sake, but actually aligning your goals, your dreams, who you are, what you want, what you love, what you fear, your strengths, through all of that internal DNA that make you uniquely you, aligning that with those goals and dreams, that's, in my opinion, the first fundamental block of truly seizing your passion, meaning living a life that's full of fulfillment, purpose, and being your best self in every aspect. And that's an ever evolving and never ending process, right? We're constantly growing and learning more about ourselves. And there's different ways to do that, right? To truly know and understand yourself, your values, your beliefs, your goals, your passions, your dreams, in order to then implement the actions you need to take or the resources or the tools or the strategies to then go about achieving the different goals and dreams and relationships, whatever aspect of your life you want to improve upon and be your best self, aligning that with that deep understanding of who you are and why you are, right? And there's different ways to do that and each all the different ways work differently for each of us because we are unique because we each have that unique internal dna um you know for me personally again my unique self you know stories are one of the my favorite ways and 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 something i'm passionate about um as a way to learn about myself right stories about other people stories in whatever medium right whether it's the written word books Films, of course, movies are a huge storytelling medium that I'm passionate about as a way to not only learn about each other and, and humanity, but learn about myself and who I am and how I feel and how I operate and all my values and my beliefs and, and question my goals and my dreams and, and, and really have this deep dive um, daily, habitual, just like those actions have to be daily and habitual and consistent in order to achieve the goals and the dreams that align with your internal DNA, so too does the actual um, learning yourself process. And again, you know, the more I thought about it this week, I realized that that is the most number one basic fundamental building block to that road to success, whatever that success looks like for you on your journey to seize your passion, become your best self, and live that life full of fulfillment and purpose and passion, right? Because again, without that, you know, you may achieve certain goals. Again, you may accomplish certain things, but if it's, if you don't understand yourself first, then there's no way that everything will be aligned with that internal DNA. And you'll, I mean, you see, you see people who've achieved, you know, you think, wow, they've done it all and, and, and they're super successful and they've achieved fame and fortune and realized all their dreams and they're not fulfilled. And they say, well, is that it? Is this it? Like I've achieved all my goals and they're still looking for that more, for that inner 
true alignment and, and holistic um, seize your passion, becoming your best self, um, existential, universal human condition, you know, since the beginning of time, that's what we're all looking for. Again, whether consciously or subconsciously, I don't care if you admit it or are consciously aware of it, or you say, you know, I'm not into this self-help stuff, personal development, self-improvement, personal growth, and whatever, you know, stigma and titles and labels, that um, notion, that universal existential human condition struggle, you know, society has put on it. You know, I was one of those people actually that, you know, 20 years ago, self-help, I was like, oh, I'm not into self-help, you know, that's not for me. But it's it's for everyone, you know, and that label self help is 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 just that label, and it's it's the connotations that come with it are are because of you know society and other factors. But when you really dig deep down into understanding what it's about, there's not a single human being on this planet that's not into it because none of us wakes up again in the morning and says, "Wow, I really hope my life gets worse today," or "Wow, I really hope I you know get worse in this area of my life." None of us. You know, we all want to become our best selves and be our best selves. And we all um, want to live a life of fulfillment that's fulfilling. That's, that's what life's about. That is the ultimate universal human struggle and condition since the beginning of time. So that's it. Those are my thoughts about, um, you know, the number one building block to the road to success. Again, whatever success looks like for you in whatever area, whether personally, professionally, or otherwise, um, you know, again, implementing all those tools and resources and strategies and concepts and beliefs and mentors and shrinks and whatever works for you and coaches, that's all amazing. And different things work for different people because you're unique and you have your own unique internal DNA, but none of that is going to work. It's just going to be a skeleton without the meat and flesh and bones inside of it to truly seizing your passion, truly, um, I wouldn't say solving, but um, learning and evolving within that, ex that, that universal human condition struggle that we're all, you know, we all want. Who doesn't want to become better? Who doesn't want to be their best selves? Who doesn't want to be the best mom, the best businesswoman, the best friend, the best wife, the best me, the best you that you can be? Who doesn't want their life to be the best it can be? Who doesn't want their life to be full of passion, purpose, and fulfillment? Not anyone I know, um, and certainly not me. <laughs> so that's it. Have an amazing weekend, everyone, and I'll see you next week. Seize your passion. Bye, guys. Ciao.